Apple has slowly been adding more features and functionality to Reminders. For years, it was little more than a simple checklist app. Now, Reminders is competing with the big to-do list apps in the App Store. So let's take a look at what's new in iOS 16. If we haven't met, I'm Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. Stick around until the end and I'll give you a resource guide for reminders on your iPhone. Let's get started. Notes and messages, you can now pin reminders, allowing you to pin important and frequently used lists to the top for easy access, but only for your iCloud account. It won't work if you use Exchange, Yahoo, Outlook, or others. To pin a list uh, to the top of your account, just push and hold on the list. A pop-up menu will appear. Go ahead and tap on pin. Another way that you can do the same thing is by sliding to the left. Whoops, sorry, sliding to the right. You'll see the pin option appear. Keep sliding and then that list will also be pinned to the top of your account. First two options are the easiest options to pin a list, but there's another one. If you tap on the more icon at the top of your lists, tap on edit lists. Now, just push and hold and drag that list up into the pinned area and drop it. When you're finished, tap on done. To unpin a list, just as easy, push and hold on the list you want to unpin. Tap on Unpin, and the other option you have is tap on the More icon, tap on Edit Lists, and then drag that uh, pinned list back on into the My List area. When finished, tap on Done. Now you can create templates. Uh, that's easy to do. You want to open up a list, so I'm just going to open the grocery store list. Tap on the More icon at the top of the list and you'll see an option here to save as template. Click on that. You can rename it if you want. So I'll just go ahead and rename this uh, grocery list. And if you have completed reminders in that list, you could also choose to include the completed reminders if you want. When you're finished, go ahead and tap on save. When you open the list you saved as a template, a new icon will appear. So let me open that list that we saved. You'll see a new icon next to the share icon. If you tap on that, you'll see that there are a couple of templates in here. You can go ahead and choose a template, give it a new name. So in this case, let me just say uh, hardware and go ahead and create, and then a new list will be created from that template. To access all of your templates, tap on the More icon, select Templates. All of your templates will appear there. If you want a more detailed information, tap on the I, and here you can go in and edit the template, share the template, or delete the template. Another way to share or delete the template is using a swipe action. So if I swipe to the right, I can share the template. If I swipe to the left, I can delete the template. There's also a new smart list called completed, and it's now located among the pinned list area. So here what you're going to find is all of the reminders that you've completed from all of your list and the reminders are going to be sorted by date. So you'll see sections like today, previous seven days, previous 30 days, things like uh, the month and, and so on. So these are going to be where all of your uh, previous completed reminders are stored. Maybe you want to hide one of the smart lists at, that are pinned to the top. To do that, just push and hold on one of your smart lists. You'll see an option to hide. Tap on that, and now you'll no longer see that list. To return that list to the uh, pinned area, 
tap on the more icon at the top of the page, tap on edit lists, and then put a check mark next to the list that you had recently hidden, tap on done, and now you'll see that that list has returned. Adding a note to a reminder is not a new feature, but formatting the text inside the note is. The formatting options include bold, italic, underlined, bulleted, dashed lists, and numbered list. You can apply formatting to a word or to the whole note. So to do that, you just want to tap into the reminder and you'll see that the add note option appears. You can also add a note over by tapping on the I and adding your note into this section here. But I'm going to just tap on the note. I'm going to put in. So if I wanted to put the formatting before I added the note, just push and hold on the cursor and you'll see the formatting option appear above. I'm going to tap on format and now I'm going to say bold and anything I type now and I'm just going to say uh, don't buy overripe. And so you'll see then that that note has been uh, bold. I can also uh, do it after I've typed the note. So let's just select the whole note and then I'm going to push and hold on that note and the formatting option will appear. I'll tap on format and here I can change this to bold or italic or underline. I'm going to just say italic and now you'll see that that has changed to italic. If I wanted to come into the note area under buy milk and I wanted to uh, type in a numbered list, if I type the number one and put a period and say whole milk, and I hit, I hit the uh, return key or enter key, you'll see that the next number appears. I can also do the same thing if I come into the note area here. If I type a dash and I put uh, Cheerios, whoops, sorry about that. If I type Cheerios and hit the return or the enter button, you'll see that the dash is placed below. So those are your some of your formatting options and it's really easy to format inside the notes area. Today and scheduled smart lists are now organized and when you open up today's smart list, your reminders will be organized in section. The top section is for all day reminders while morning, afternoon, and tonight are for reminders with specific times. Previously, everything was in one group. When you use the sort option, they apply per section. Scheduled smart lists come in categories such as past due, today, tomorrow, and rest of the current month, and then by e each month after that. Previously, it was just one extensive list. You can add a badge count to today's items in iOS 15, the badge count only applied to overdue reminders. That still applies in iOS 16, but you can add items due today to that count. To do that, you're going to want to open up the Settings app. You're going to want to tap on Reminders, so scroll down until you see Reminders. And then you'll see badge count listed here. Toggle on the switch to include today. With groups of multiple lists, a new feature is available. If you've never created a group, here's how. So if you're in uh, the list view, tap on the more icon, tap on edit lists, and in the bottom right corner, you're going to see add group. Select that name your group, and I'll just name mine All Stores. And then you need to include some lists. So tap on Include, and I'm going to tap on the grocery store and the hardware store. I'm going to tap on the back uh, where it says New Group, and then I'm going to 
tap on create, and now I'll tap on done. So now you have this listing of groups. What the new feature is, is now if I tap on all stores, you're going to see the list from both of those groups. So you'll get a, a, an overall view of all of your stores that are in that group. Now you can choose to receive a notification for newly added or completed tasks in a shared list. So if I long press on, whoops, sorry, long press on the shared list and I tap on manage shared list, now I can be notified when someone is adding a reminder to the list and I can also toggle on the switch to remind me after they've completed the reminder. You can also filter reminders by tags. So in list view, you'll come down to the bottom and there your tags will be listed there. So I can filter by all tags and you'll see all the tags listed here. Or I could choose to filter by individual tags like that. Uh, so I could choose any of the tags that I wanted. You can also filter by two different tags. So let's say I, I want to filter by the buy tag and the need tag. So then only one of my reminders shows up. Now I can also omit a tag. So let's say I don't want to filter by need, but I want to filter by buy. Once this uh, reminder or tag is highlighted, if I tap on it again, it puts a line through it and removes that need tag and only is going to show me the tags that have buy in them. That's what's new in the Reminders app in I iPadOS 16. I promised you a resource guide. You should see it on the screen now. If you have questions or comments, let me know in the comments area. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.